I mean, you can, if that's what you want. I could to go like this. Hi, welcome to 151 Garage. I'm Sean. What? How many times are we going to do this? <laughs> Until uh, we get it right. So, yeah. Hi, welcome to 151 Garage. I'm Sean. I'm Jill. And today we're actually going to start the mods on the Badlands. So we just got this three weeks ago this Monday. So this video is going to air probably at the end of the week, probably Friday. But as of last Monday, the 11th, or the 12th, this, we got this three weeks ago. And we've been looking at what we wanted to do to it. They had a lot of parts come out for these vehicles for all different types of mods. Uh, one of which was what's sitting below us. It is a pre-runner style bar from JCR Off-Road. First thing, let me state, JCR, wow you guys packed this thing absolutely <laughs> phenomenal i wish everything came packed as well as this thing did uh there was so much packing it filled up two trash bins it, it was the styrofoam packing i was just amazed of how well packed this was uh you know shout out to you guys for whoever packed it absolutely badass uh, yeah. i've never had a component packed this way especially like a, a something you're going to beat up every once in a while it was packed very well mm -hmm. uh grats on that also this is the bar that goes on the modular bumper so if you don't have the modular bumper it's not going to work for you it won't mount to it because they're using the bronco bolts that are actually in the yeah. bumper right now to as mount you can to. see these are the bolts that we're talking about there's 10 of them that you're going to remove and we already went and did that that way we can just go ahead and just put it on quickly. Yeah. Um, there are some tricks to putting this on that she didn't know the first time. So she already put this on once and didn't know the tricks. Yeah, by herself. So you can do it. You just, she didn't know the tricks on how to put the, the bolts in first before you uh, install them. So we'll, there's two locations and we'll, we'll get yeah. into that in a second with a better, better shot of it. Um, but this is, like I said, a pre-runner style, so it does go out to the outer edges. It's similar to the one that you get, the bull bar that you get from Ford. It just, in my opinion, it looks better and it's a little more aggressive looking than that does. So we'll go ahead and pull you off of this tripod stand now and put you on a different handheld so she can hold it or I can hold it while she's installing the bolts. Okay. So this right here is the bull bar or the pre-runner bar. So go ahead and drop it down so people can see it. It's right against the thing. Go ahead and keep going down. So this right here is what you're looking at. These pieces right here, these are the three bolts. They mount to right about there. You have the two pieces right there that mount to the very end plate. Uh, the trick with the one is, go ahead and roll it forward and show them uh, what I taught you. So this is the very first section that you put on. And the reason we do this, hold it up real quick. The reason we do this is because once we get this in, you can't get a bolt in there. It doesn't matter what bolt you put in. And we are doing the Bronco bolts, not the hex head, which would make it so much more easier. but. We're trying to go with the stock appearance and make it as much of a pain in the ass as possible for us. Um, but you have to put these in first or else you'll never get them in, so. Go ahead and drop the other one in. Yeah, I failed to do this step when I first put it on because, hey, I didn't know. Okay, hold <laughs> it up like that. What we'll do first is I'll set it up so we can install this because to try to line the two bolts are going to be kind of a pain in the ass if you do it by yourself. Okay, grab that end. So 
So these do go down pretty pretty easily until you get to the locking feature of the nut plate. Yeah, which I'm at. Now the Bronco bolts are what, TP-40? Yeah, TP-40. So Tango Papa 40? Or just, yeah. And there's a difference between the Torx Plus and the Torx, and we'll show it up here for the, because we're doing this right now. Um, you can see the difference between one's a little bit wider and one's more of a point. Uh, so she's gonna go ahead and finish the installing of the bolts. I will show you a trick when we get to the point that uh, we got to before. Now with these, run them down as far as you possibly can because you won't be able to get anything in there. I also have a trick to get this down a little bit further. Light tapping to adjust. She does that to me all the time. Whenever she needs to adjust me, slight tapping works. Okay. Let me get the rubber band out of my pocket. I don't think that'll work to secure a bumper. Zip ties. We can always go with zip ties. Now to kind of show you, hang on just a second, to kind of show you just how easy these go down. So it goes down pretty easy up until right about to where the metal is going to hit and then the locking feature goes in. So they all go down. We won't put them all the way down until she gets all the bolts in because we do have to move it around just a little bit. Yeah, I think you're going to need your thingy. You want to go get your thingy? Yeah. All right, so some of these didn't go as far down just because either A or something blocking it, but it needs to be adjusted where it will go down because this one right here, this is what we're talking about. This one right here is not aligned like this one is right here. So he's gonna grab some tools and we're gonna scoot this over just enough this way to get that bolt to go in. And then I'll go through with our socket and tighten everything up. And then he's gonna go right behind me and tighten it up even more because he's a little bit stronger than me. Okay. <clears throat> so. We have a chisel set, or punch set, rather, right here. So you already show them that one right there? Mm-hmm. Okay, so as you can tell, it's off a little bit, and that's as far as it goes. It's not going to go any further. Now, what you want to do is put this in there just enough to where you're not going to get a hold of the threads, but there is a lip before you get to the threads. So it goes in just a little bit. Then you can pry it. I'm gonna need both hands. I also need this loose. Pry it in there. Then you can wedge a, wedge something in here
where you can get the last bolt in which she has in her pocket. Hang on. There you go. Okay. There you go. Last bolt's in. Run it down as far as you can. And then I will go ahead and take the, the ratchet and tighten them down. And then there I'll have go. him come behind me after we make sure everything's lined up and tighten it down further. Now, the last thing we want to do, uh, the last thing we will do is tighten these down. I have a trick for that as well. Uh, it's going to cost you a Torx bit, though. So we will get into that and what I did to be able to tighten <laughs> these down a little bit. Don't laugh. Uh, but I'll show you that. It's genius what he did, okay? Yeah. So. I mean, I never would have thought of it. I just would have left the hole and see. And bring me that ratchet. I'll show them what they want to do. When you tighten these up, use a use extension. It gets you away from this because once you start tightening these, these up with this, this right here is really close to this. Yeah. You'll end up scratching it. This gets you away from it. It also keeps you the ability to lean it forward a little bit so that way you don't have to worry about scratching your paint. Hey, before you do anything, tighten up this one just a little bit. That one's gonna be tight. You're gonna have to tighten it by hand. Remember, I had to pry it. I mean, sorry. I can't uh, it by hand. Yeah, sorry with that. So there are two bolts that he's gonna do for me because I just can't grab the the socket to do it. Yeah, with extensions, you want to grab out here at the end because if you're doing this number, you're fighting this way where yeah. if you're holding it here, you're holding it still, so. Okay, so those of us who are not tool savvy, we just learned something new today. There you go. <laughs> Always grab it by the, by the ratchet side. She's learning. She put all this stuff in together minus two bolts, but three, three bolts. Yeah, that one wasn't lined up. So, so you can do this by yourself, actually. Yeah. Yeah, it's got to be a little bit careful. And again, take your time with it. Make sure all the bolts run down a little bit by hand, so you don't strip them out. That's the biggest thing. You don't want to strip them bolts off because that's going to be one costly for the bolt and whatever the nut plate underneath you're going to have to replace the item underneath it if you strip it out oh yeah this is going to be a pain in the butt gap when she closes it or when she tightens it up it'll go down there that's good so let me I'll run through them real quick. Just because I have a little more torque on it. There you go. Pretty good. Two front ones which oh god yeah you got that one already <laughs> okay 
Where'd the pliers go? In my pocket. Let me have the pliers. Here you go. You say, did you lose it? <laughs> no. <laughs> I hope not. It's so tiny that it's in there somewhere. So the reason I did this is because obviously you're not going to get a ratchet in there, right? You're not going to be able to tighten that one up. So what we ended up doing is... Here, let me show them. So... That is your normal torque bit. I'll show them the other one. This is what we had to do in order to make that guy fit in this space. So, so as you guys can tell is... Because when I put this, this on the in. first time, there was no way to secure those, like at all. <laughs> so we bought a set of torque bits and then he just cut the thing off. I need a little bit of leverage. So, get this. There is nothing small enough to actually fit in there without cutting it off. So I went ahead and did a sacrificial torx bit. A sacrificial torx bit. <laughs> yep. Sometimes you gotta sacrifice tools to the, the automotive gods because sometimes it doesn't really work with the regular tools. You have to do something like that to make it fit. So I don't know how many tools I've cut in half or modified because it doesn't fit what I need. So yeah, this part right here is going to take you the longest. Yeah, take your time, be careful. And the reason I left that one open or that one up a little bit is because I wanted to be able to pull this down without fighting the back side. So once I tighten this up, it'll tighten this up a little bit more, so. And that looks like about it. Because it is not going out any further. Tighten this down. There you go. Get the other one. So like I said before, tighten this down as much as you can by hands before you try to put this goofy ass tool in there. Okay, as far as it's going down. And also, as you tighten these down with these loose, when you start to tighten the back ones down, it'll actually pull this up so it's flat and these will get even more tighter than they are now because you're not gonna loosen this up right now. Uh, even with that tool, you're gonna have to loosen this one up first. So there's a lot of pressure on that. So 
with all the tools out of the way. Doesn't look too bad. Touch up a little paint on the bolts. So straight on, it does block this a little bit. It does not block the camera, as you can tell, it goes straight down. But I like the way it looks better than the stock one. Yeah, we're not gonna put a winch on this, by the way. So that yeah. camera is gonna be okay. Yeah. Whereas if this one had a camera, the camera would be, well, pretty much screwed. So how do you like it, Jill? I like it. And, we're gonna add another thing to it in a different video, but I won't show you what those are. Yeah, but we it, have a couple. It, we have a couple added items for this the whole front end. But it's gonna complete the look of the pre-runner bumper. Yeah, we like the way it looks. Uh, yeah. So we'll have to wait for that. They are in order. They will be here soon. Yeah, a week or two, depending on shipping and whether UPS finds right. my house or not. I like it. Or USPS. Really, yeah. I really like it. I like the way it looks. That's good. So. So like I said, this is the first mod of many for this. We have a ton of them sitting in the garage. The garage. And please apologize for the wind. It is a very windy day today. Today's the only day it's not really raining. Yet. Yet. So we're trying to get as, wind, yeah so. we're trying to get as much done as possible while it's not shitty weather. Uh, we are back in Florida, so obviously it is raining and it is. We're starting windy. to enter the it's a spring rainy season. Yeah. And as time goes on in the summertime, it's going to rain either so, twice a day, if not at least once, really good. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you like this stuff. Uh, if you want to see other things for this, like I said, we got plenty of stuff. We have a garage, seems like full of parts for this thing to be able yeah. to install. Also, we have a couple items for that as well coming. Uh, some things I never planned on doing, but I think it's going to complete the look that I didn't intentionally do from the beginning. So we are going for a look now. And uh, you'll notice once we get the modifications done for that. Anyways, uh, again, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and hope to see you next video. Bye.